Hey everybody, I'm here with a quick video on Diddy, Brother Love. But Brother Love can't stay in that house. He's having cabin fever. He finally has surfaced out. He was seen at the Kanye West listening party. Remember, those two had beats over the um, Kanye West White Lives Matter t-shirt back in 2022. But I guess when nobody else is answering Diddy phone calls because none of his friends will call him or he can't even call them, okay? They won't pick up the phone. He's not getting any party invitations, no dinner invitations, no award show invitations. So he had to come out the house. So he came out the house and he brought the kids with him to go to Kanye West listening party. Imagine that two fallen stars in the same building. We're going to get more into the story, guys, right after this. All right, guys, let me go ahead and share a screen with y'all. So Diddy supporting Kanye at Rolling Loud. Why is a White Lives Matter beef wrapped up? Maybe, maybe not. Or maybe Diddy just showed up because he can't show up anyplace else and be accepted. So Diddy and Kanye West haven't been on good terms for a while, but now it seems like they might be mending their relationship because Diddy pulled up to Kanye's rolling loud set where Kanye just played music, but that's a whole nother story. And you see, they got an hourly appointment at Diddy. He was spotted there. A lot of security at this place. Cataracts are the primary cause. Show it to you once the video, um, the commercial start playing. And I won't be able to play the sound um, because they're playing music and I don't want to get a ding, okay? So the rapper producer made a rare public appearance Thursday at the show in Los Angeles. Here we go. Hold on one second, guys. Though, but that was me when I was burning. And there's Diddy, there's the twins. The twins are so adorable. So adorable. And Justin was there also. Okay, so um, Diddy made a rare appearance Thursday at the show in Los Angeles and walked into Kanye West's performance along his, alongside his twin daughters, Jesse and Delilah Combs. It, it's nice to see them out, the, the daughters. Um, and, and to see them pretty much looking like they're cool, they're happy, and, you know, maybe everything that's going on with their dad is not impacting them emotionally. And out of this whole situation, who I feel bad for the most are the children. Even though they're teenagers, I still feel bad because they don't have their mother, and it looks like if more people start coming out against Diddy, um, and giving real-time live information, they may not have their father anymore because he may get locked up. So in the video, Diddy brought his whole crew to the set. He always rose deep and appeared to pull up as Ye and Ty Dolla Signs, Keys to My Life, played over the speakers. And so Justin was also there because that's a picture of Diddy and Justin. And Diddy made the evening a whole family affair because he also he was also spotted in back... Um, in the back side stage area with his son, Justin, while watching the controversial performance. The show certainly had people up in arms because instead of performing live, Kanye and Ty stood on stage and just played recording of their songs, leaving lots of fans disappointed. Unclear how Diddy felt about the show or if he and Ye sat down for a conversation because they kind of got click they because they kind of got to clear the air about their rival 2022 beef. And that's when him and Candace Owens had on the Light White Lives Matters t-shirts. 
Remember Puffy sat down for an interview on a breakfast club where he calls Kanye hella controversial, white lives matter t-shirts, tone deaf back in 2022. Now, I definitely can't play that part that was on The Breakfast Club because The Breakfast Club is definitely one of those shows that do not let you share their material. While Kanye didn't like that one bit, and he ultimately shared some private messages between him and Diddy, including one where he accused Diddy of being sent by Jewish people to threaten him. Diddy wanted to meet in person, but Kanye called him a federal agent and then threw in a big F you for good measure. It was all pretty unhinged, and it seemed that the two hadn't made up, at least not publicly. But now with Puffy at the show, you got to wonder if some words have been said behind the scenes. So are the two officially burying a hatchet, or did Diddy kids just really want to see ye? So listen, I think it could have been a mixture of several things, and I kind of told you a little bit of one. I think right now, you know, um, Sean Puffy Combs, Diddy, whatever you want to call him. He's used to being out and about. He's used to being that guy. He's used to being everybody, you know, falling all over him, wanting to see him, wanting to be at his parties, wanting to do everything with him. And I think that is driving him absolutely nuts that he is currently going through all of these lawsuits and he just needed to get out the house. And probably the most acceptable place for him to go would be something that Kanye West is throwing because Kanye West is so controversial himself. So seeing Diddy with another person that has pretty much been canceled by so many people, it's like, okay, what's the big deal? You're going to say, oh, Kanye, you, you're you um, supporting somebody who's being accused of SA? I mean, that's going to mean what to Kanye West when like, he can barely get a venue to allow him to utilize it so that he can have these listening parties, let alone a concert. So anyway, guys. Chat with me in the comments, and when I get an opportunity, I will chat back. If you're not a subscriber, subscribe, hit the notification bell, so that every time I upload a video, you will be notified. I'm sorry, guys, and I always need to put my phone on um, on silence. Um, you will be notified. If you are a subscriber, welcome back. Everybody hit the like button. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.